Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. Yesterday I worked at night and I had a doctor's appointment during the day and I had a few hours in between. So I went to a few Dollar Trees and I found some really good stuff. This is a bigger haul, so grab yourself a drink, settle in, and I'm gonna show you everything that I got. So let's just get started. I did grab two fall things, which I don't need them. I've decorated for fall already. I have all of my stuff out. It's actually Halloween right now and then I'm gonna transfer back to fall. But I found these and I could not find them when they were first out and everyone was hauling them. I was so disappointed, I wanted them so bad. And then I found them at my small little store yesterday. So I was so excited. So I grabbed the little dusty pink pumpkins something hanging off of it there we go it's just so pretty I just love the color I was in love with it when everyone was hauling it and I couldn't find it so I am super excited to have these like really excited so glad to have found those I will use those when I transfer everything back to fall let's see I did get some Christmas items I picked up one of the really pretty tinsel garland in the black and white buffalo check. I just think this is so dang cute. I thought maybe I would hang it up like I have this back here with the beaded garland that I hauled from the 99 cent store. I thought maybe that would be super cute for, for Christmas. If not, then I'll hang it on our mantle. I just think it's darling. Um, the tag actually fell off, but this is what it looks like. It's the Christmas house, nine feet tinsel garland. And yeah, it's just really cute. I like it so much. I think it's darling. So I'm really excited to use it. Very excited to find it. I picked up this pack of two of the Red Buffalo Tech bows. I just think they're really, really pretty. I actually wanna use this as the tree topper for the little Christmas tree, cause I got the littler bows that match this. So I thought that would be really cute. So I'm gonna use one as the tree topper and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other one, but I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. I just think they're so pretty and well done and just very nice. So grab those. I picked up a couple of things of ornaments. Um, I picked up two of these. You get six in here and they're kind of like a fuzzy icicle. If you can see that, it's like fuzzy. And so I just thought they would add some texture and dimension to the Christmas tree. So I grabbed two packages of those. So 12 of those, really thought those were neat, kind of different. I'm not sure if they had those last year. I don't think I did much Christmas shopping at Dollar Tree last year because I'm finding things that I think are new that really aren't, that are from last year. So it might not be new, but it's new to me. I caved and picked up two things of this pom-pom trim from Crafter Square. You get three yards in it. I got two of the red, and I just think this is so cute, pom-poms. I'm gonna use this to wrap my Christmas gifts. So I picked up two of the red and two of the white. And I just think they're so dang cute. I have this wrapping paper that has poodles on it and all this Christmas stuff. And so I figured these would be really cute with it because it's red and white. So grabbed those so that I could wrap some Christmas presents. Throwing everything on the chair over there. Sorry, guys. I grabbed this cute little plushy elf with the dangly legs. I grabbed this to put out for Chloe from Santa. I'm just super excited for Christmas this year. So I picked this up before they all went away. I just think she's so cute. I just love her. So very excited to give this to Chloe. Miss Chloe will love that. I also picked up this sign. Now I do think these were from last year. I do remember seeing people haul these, but I didn't find them either. So I'm really excited that I found them this year. Forgive me if they're a new design because I can't remember, but I grabbed one of these little mason jar signs and it just says happy holidays with the truck and a red barn which i love because we own a farm in idaho and it just reminds me of farms so i love that it's so cute i think this is going to be so cute i'll probably use it somewhere up here for christmas all right i grabbed a santa hat i i've looked at this each time i've gone and i haven't bought it but this time i decided to buy it because i have a good idea to use it so i grabbed the red buffalo tech with the fur it has a little fur at the top for around the bottom. There's a lot of strings and stuff. I mean, it's not the best Santa hat, but I'm just gonna cut them off. I'm gonna use this as my tree topper for my little tree in my bedroom. I thought it would be so cute kind of hanging off to the side with its little thing. So I might stuff it a little bit to make it stand up a little bit more. But yeah, I'm so excited. It's gonna look so cute, like on the edge of the Christmas, I mean on the edge, on the top of the Christmas tree like this. So that was my idea for that. Hopefully it turns out. Okay guys, these are adorable. These are just hands down adorable. They're not very big. They're not gonna hold a lot. I don't think I'll actually use them as mugs. They are mainly decoration because I mean, they are just so dang cute. So I picked up this Santa. How cute is he? They're not very big. 
They're actually quite tiny, but they are so dang cute. So I grabbed the Santa and I had to, I found the gnome. I was so excited. I love him so much. He's so dang cute. So cute. Super excited about that. I think that is just adorable. That, I mean, yeah, those are, those are great. I, I love those so much. I think they're so cute. Last Christmas thing, I grabbed one sign. I love this one. This house believes in Santa. I just love it. I think that the hat hanging off of it is obviously, I like Santa hats hanging off of things. So I love how that's there. And then I love the glitter. I know that some people don't like glitter on their signs, but for Christmas, I love glitter. So I'm gonna spray this with a heavy dose of hairspray and I think we should be good. It actually wasn't that much fallout in my bag or anything. It's not as bad as some of the other stuff. So grabbed that. That is the end of Christmas. Let's get some socks out of the way. I was on my way to work when I picked all this stuff up and I didn't like the socks that I had on. So I wanted to try to get some new ones. These didn't end up working out because you could see too much of them outside of the shoe, but I'll definitely use them to work out. And they are the Juncture Women's Athletic Low Cut Socks. You get one pair in here. I took them out of the packaging because I thought I was going to wear them so I can show you guys what they look like. They're just basic socks, but they seem really nice. And so I'm gonna wear these to work out, but they didn't work for work because the whole thing stuck out and it didn't match what I was wearing. So I didn't wear them, but I do really like them. So grabbed those and I broke down and bought a couple more Snuggadoos because I can't resist snuggly socks. I grabbed this pair again because I actually have my cousin came to stay with us and he's wearing my pair and I just decided he could have them. So I grabbed another pair of pink. He loves the fuzzy socks to wear around the house. So I figured why not? So I gave him that pair and I grabbed another pair of the pink. Again, they have the little nubby things on the bottom so that you don't slip around on your wood floor, which is what we have throughout the house. So I would probably kill myself. But I did grab a pair without the nubbies, which I just said that I would probably kill myself. But I do like wearing them sometimes. And it is kind of fun to slide across the floor. But I picked this pair up. I love the texture of these, the nubbiness. I, I, that's the only thing I can think. You can feel it. It's just they're so soft and, and comfy. I love this um, style of them. I don't know what you would say. You can tell that they're different. But I don't know what you would call this. I just love this this material. I think it's so soft and nice. So I grabbed those. I, I hadn't grabbed them and I kept walking past them and I was going to be good. But then I was like, no, I need them. I need them in my life. So I found those. I finally broke down and bought one of these because I found one in really good condition. My cousin loves sloths. I think I've told you guys that. I've got all of the sloth. sloth. It's hard for me to say. I got all of the sloth stuff. I'm just not going to say it again, but I got all of the stuff for Barrett from the Dollar Tree every single time that I've gone. So this time I found this little guy and I know he's been out for a little bit, but I finally found one that wasn't so bad. He's kind of in good condition. His little face isn't that bad. So I grabbed him for my cousin. I just think it's really cute. It's going to be a cute little accent in his apartment. All right, let's see. I finally found, and I was so excited, and someone's been into it, but I'll go ahead and wash it. I grabbed, finally, one of the satin pillowcases in the animal print. I'm so excited about this, you guys. I was looking for this every time I went, and I finally found it, so I'm really excited. It's by The Home Collection. It's a satin pillowcase. It's 20 inches by 30 inches, so it's just a basic, standard size pillowcase. But I just love the animal print so much and I'm so excited to wear it. Wear it. I was looking at the socks when I said that. I'm so excited to use it. So cannot wait for that. I picked up a thing of the Glad um, kitchen, tall kitchen bags. You get 13, no, not 13. <laughs> if you got 13, that would be a great deal. You get seven, so that's two bags free because they usually come in five. And it fits up to 13 gallon can. And this is in the Hawaiian Aloha scent with Febreze. And I was just getting these because I do keep a little box in my bedroom to change out my trash can because it's just easier that way. So I grabbed these for that. I was really excited to see those in the bonus package. I found a new candle and I really, really like the glass that it comes in, the little jar. It says home on there. And it's in this really beautiful dusty pink color, which you guys know I love. And the scent of it is cherry blossom. And it does smell really good. I don't think it's gonna have a huge throw just because you can't really smell it in the jar, but I think it'll be really cute burning in the bathroom. So I was happy to find that. 
I also picked up this set of the Surefresh reusable round containers and lids. You get three in here. You get a 1.9 cup, a 3.4 cup, and a 5.8 cup, and they're nesting bowls. And they're just the little nesting um, Tupperware containers. I got the Dusty Rose color, which is, seems to be a theme of this haul, but I just really love these, and we needed some new ones, and I love that they're nesting, and you can just put them into each other, so super handy. Grab those. And then, you guys, I've seen people hauling the, the shelves, but I feel like they were thinner and, like, longer. I don't know how to explain it. These ones are kind of chunky, so I found another one. These are the wall shelves. It's a two-pack, actually. It's 6.7 inches by 5.2 inches, and this is what they look like. But see how they're, like, you know, more of a, a smaller rectangle and, um, and like, a narrower I don't I mean wider I don't know how to say that whatever you guys know what I'm talking about the other ones I feel like were more narrow so this one is more fat I thought they would be darling plant hangers so I grabbed it you get the little macrame string and the little holder you get two of them actually because there's two in here if you guys can see that you get two that's a great deal two for a buck so I'm gonna try these I'll let you guys know how they work out but I think I'm gonna use mine as little plant holders so super excited to have found that let's see Let's do some of the boring stuff. Well, it's not really boring, but it's for my project. I just needed some new scissors, so I grabbed a pair of the Westcott all-purpose durable stainless steel lightweight comfortable design in eight inches. So grabbed those. I just needed some scissors. I picked up three more of the little megaphone um, stickers because my niece, I actually just went tonight to watch my niece cheer, so that was super fun, but she cheers, and so she's doing competitions and all this stuff, and I thought these would be kind of fun to put on our faces, so I grabbed three more because I have, um, I got them for the three other people that will be with us, so I already got me and my best friend one, but I grabbed some more so the kids could wear one, their sisters, and so that um, their grandma could wear one as well, so we're gonna get all into the spirit. I don't need another notepad, I don't need another, another notepad at all. Like, I really don't. But I couldn't couldn't resist. I could not leave this. This might be going in friend mail just because I really don't need another notebook. But I love this so much. So it's a magnetic notepad with 60 sheets in it. And it's in the shape of a little coffee cup. How cute is that? And it has little donuts along the side. Pink and donuts. And it says, coffee please. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I love that. I think it's adorable. So I'm super excited about that. I probably will save it to put in friend mail, but it's super cute. So for my project, I picked up this set of poster stickers. You get 56 in here. It says it's great for event sign school projects, home decor projects. So that's perfect for me. And it's just kind of the multicolored letters and symbols. And I'm gonna use this to title my thing. I figured it might look nicer than me writing it out. So yeah, got those for that. Along those same lines for the project, um, you have to show, I know I've told you guys this, but you have to show a bunch of little stuff and use different symbols and different ways to show it. And I saw these and these are the jot stamp markers. I've hauled the other ones. I actually thought they were somewhere here, but they're not. Um, I hauled the other ones that were like the lining markers because I thought those would be cool for the project. But this time I found the stamps and you get a six pack. And if you can see there, those are what the stamps do. So there's like a little foot, a paw print, a star. So I thought that I could use the star and maybe the heart in my project. So yeah, super excited about that. And I could just stamp it in the circles to show the things that I need to. So that will be much easier than trying to draw something. I'm not an artist. I'm very artistically challenged. I can do creative stuff. I like to do paper crafting. I love to color, but I'm not a drawer. So I also picked up another one of these jot markers with the silver ink with the colorful outline. I grabbed it in gold this time. I just grabbed it so that I could use it either on projects or I mean like, you know, actual projects that I do or on my actual school project. I thought that would be cute. And then I needed a ruler. So I just grabbed this glittery one because I needed a ruler for the project. And I'm going to stop talking about the project. I promise it's due in a few weeks. So you guys will stop hearing about it. Let's see. I picked up a few food items. I grabbed two of these to try because I love the Starbucks ones. And I think a few of you rave about these. I hope so. So I grabbed two of the vanilla and these are the Victor Allen's coffee and um, the ice latte. So I picked up two of those. 
to give it a try. I love drinking those, um, the Starbucks ones, so I figure I'll like those. And then I picked up this. It's a peanut butter cookie mix, simpler than scratch. It makes 12 two-inch cookies just in the peanut butter by Betty Crocker. You get 7.2 ounces in here. So, yeah, love making cookies, love peanut butter cookies. Figured that was a perfect match. I picked up another box of the Swiss Miss hot chocolate with marshmallows. Love this stuff, and it's getting to be the season that I like to drink it more, so I picked that up. Every time they have the bonus Sunny D, I grab it if I find it, and so this is the 40% more Sunny D Tangy Original. I personally love Sunny D. I always have something about the tanginess. I don't know. I just adore it. So every once in a while, I let myself splurge and have a little bit. I know it's full of sugar. I know it's not good for you, but it's delicious. So grabbed that for myself. I grabbed a, a thing of gum, the extra um, sweet watermelon gum. You get four packs in here. I've taken out a couple because I needed it for work, but that's what I grabbed that for. I saw a bunch of you hauling these and I thought they sounded absolutely delicious. I love strawberry. So these are the Red Bird Handcrafted Candy Candy Puffs in Strawberry. I love the Melt Away, melt, melt away Mints <laughs> like this. So I'm super excited to try them in Strawberry. I love everything Strawberry. So I think I'm really going to like those. All right, that's it for the food. We are nearing the end, guys. I have last category is health and beauty, which it usually is in my hauls because I seem to find a lot. And I did find quite a bit. I grabbed one of the Salon Selective Stay Put Volumizing Hairspray, Weightless Amplify Volume, All Day Hold, um, Anti-Humidity Extra Hold Hairspray. I needed a new hairspray. I don't know if you guys heard my review video, but I bought the Health of the Hairs. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I can't talk today. It's the end of the day. I've been talking all day, so apparently it's, it's I'm tired. But um, I hauled the Halsa hairspray from there, and it's in the black bottle. It's a little bit larger than this. That thing shot out at me so aggressively that I can't use it. I tried running the under hot water. I tried all the tricks. I don't know if I got a bum can. So I got this one to try instead. Hopefully I have better luck with that. Hopefully it doesn't shoot me straight in the eye. I also heard really good things about their dry shampoo, so I figured I would give it a try. It says to compare to Batiste dry shampoo. We'll see about that. Spray style and go, perfect to use in between washes. This is in the Blossom scent, and it's 1.6 ounces, so I figured I would give this a try. I do love the packaging on this. I think it's really cute. Picked that up to give it a try. I, th I got... <laughs> oh, you guys, seriously. Talking is hard, apparently. Um, I picked up a two-pack of the Extra Care hand sanitizers. This is the antibacterial, kills 99.9% .9 of germs with moisturizers and vitamin E. They're each two fluid ounces. And I grabbed these to take with me to work. I like to put them in my little bag and have them there because I always need it. So I figured I would put that in my little bag. Let's see. I picked up, they had these um, Goody Ouchless. Um, 15 piece medium hair, no metal elastics. I know that I don't have medium hair, but I love these. And so I figured I would grab them for a dollar. You don't see them all the time. And all that I've been finding is the really big ones. And I don't have enough hair for that, but these I do. So I'm really excited to find them. And I think it's cool that you get 15 in here. So grabbed that. Let's see. Boring. I picked up another thing of the extra large plastic band-aids from Curad. They're four sided seal all-purpose, long-lasting protection. You get 10 in here, and they're supposedly two times more absorbent than other brands. I got these in my last haul, and I haven't used those up. I've used some of them, but I had to buy these because I forgot to take my band-aids yesterday when I was headed out to my doctor's appointment, so I didn't have them for work, and if you saw my last haul, you know that my struggle with my feet is real and the blisters that I have from that 10-hour day at work, so it was not going to work out if I didn't have band-aids. So I grabbed some when I was at the store so that I could put them on before work. They work very nice. I like the Curad brand band-aids. Let's see, I found some new scrunchies. At least they're new to me. I hadn't seen these before and I would have seen them because of the animal print. I grabbed this set of three scrunchies. They're the velour kind. And I just think that the colors are pretty. I'll probably wear all three of these a lot. Um, and yeah, super excited. I love the animal print, so. 
Love that. Oh, I found a new color of nail polish that I thought was such a cool and unique color that I've never seen a nail polish in before. And it's the number 963. And this is the new color nail polish, not the ones that they usually have. But isn't that a beautiful color? It's almost like a dark periwinkle, like blue, but kind of like a slate gray in there. I don't even know what to call it with the sparkles. I just thought that was absolutely beautiful. Let me see if you guys can see the color a little better if I do this. Oh, it would help if it was in the frame. So that's the color there. I just think it is so cool looking and really different than anything that I've ever seen. I think this will be so pretty on the toes. So I grabbed that. I finally broke down and grabbed the Beauty Guru Natural Bright Skin Serum with Rosehip Oil. This is a facial brightener, and I think I've told you guys before, but I have a lot of dark areas from being sick. It's like melasma, and so I'm trying to fade those, and so I thought this would be a good thing to try. It says, um, what does it say here? 100% natural, gently applied to clean toned skin as part of your regimen to brighten and even your complexion. So, yeah. I'm gonna give that a try. I'll let you guys know how that works out. I picked up another color because I love this stuff. I've been using it since I hauled it and it's really nice. So I picked up another color of the LA Colors Plump Gloss, instantly plumps lips with a tingling sensation and it's Call Me, the color is Call Me. It's just a little bit of a darker berry kind of color. I thought it was really, really <laughs> pretty. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to wear this. I'm really excited to try this color. I'm gonna get more if I see them, but this was the only one that I saw other than the one that I already had. Let me take a drink. Maybe that'll help me speak better. Probably not, <laughs> but we'll give it a try. Let's see. I picked up a few things for a giveaway. That More to come on that. But I did pick up this for myself and it is the Flower Under Eye Cover Cream. It says high coverage, fast setting, cooling roller ball, helps to reduce puffiness. It's DB Daily Brightening. Yeah, I don't know. I think it looks like a concealer. I was kind of going to use it as a step before my concealer to brighten it up a little bit and maybe reduce the puffiness. I thought that this sounds like a really interesting thing. It's, and because it says high coverage, I think it's like a concealer. So you're on a roll, enriched with caffeine, our high coverage, fast setting, DB daily brightening under eye cover cream. Helps to reduce puffiness, that is quite a name. Anyways, helps to reduce puffiness under eyes and helps to diminish the look of dark under eye circles, which I struggle with, um, with a cooling roller ball. Also enriched with hyaluronic acid to help increase skin's moisture, elasticity, and improve skin smoothness. Perfect for con concealing, oh sorry, <laughs> concealing blemishes too. Yeah, so we'll give that a try. I think that sounds really cool. So I will let you guys know if that works out. I found one more of the jumbo peel swabs from Found. I had hauled this before. It's a lemon jumbo peel swab. Gently exfoliates to improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven tone. 95% natural. So 5% unnatural, I suppose. Anyways, I thought this sounded really, really cool. It says a saturated, individually packaged jumbo cotton swab that gently exfoliates to reduce the look of fine lines, wrinkles, pores, and uneven tone. That sounds fantastic. So yeah, gonna give that a try. I have two of those now. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to this week. So I will let you guys know. All right, these next three things I grabbed for a giveaway. I'm starting to collect some things because I want to do a giveaway around Thanksgiving because I'm just really, truly thankful for all of you. I have been loving this YouTube journey so far and you guys have all been so supportive and lovely. So I just wanted to give a little back. So I figured what a perfect time to do that at Thanksgiving. So I'm starting to grab a few things for that. And what I'm trying to do is like a few of my, you know, fun finds, a few jackpot finds, but also just a few of my favorite things from the Dollar Tree so that you guys can maybe experience them and love them too. The first thing I found though is very exciting and I haven't ever tried it before, but it is a Flower Beauty Wanderlust eyeshadow palette. I was so excited to find this. It has these really pretty metallic colors in there. And it's like a, I don't, I don't even know the color scheme or whatnot, but it's Wanderlust. It says, take a road trip down south to catch the beauty of the downtown dusk palette. Oh, this must be downtown dusk. Sorry. Um, earthy tones blend with unexpected brights to light up your look with the warm rays of the setting sun. So that's what it is. It's supposed to be like a sunset. That's beautiful. So grabbed that for the giveaway. 
I also picked up this set of three Diamond Cosmetic nail files. I love these nail files nail files. I swear you guys, I'm so sorry, but I love these. I think they're really good nail files and, um, they're not Greenbrier. They're a name brand. So I picked up these for the giveaway. I think the prints are really cute too. And then I picked up my favorite face wash from the Dollar Tree. And that is the Pond's Pure Detox Facial Foam with activated carbon charcoal. I adore this face cleanser. It works so well. It lathers up into this really rich kind of luxurious lather for a dollar. It's unbelievable. So yeah, grab this for the giveaway. I wanted to share the love with you guys. All right, that does it for this humongous haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you stuck out to the end, give me a thumbs up and let me know down below. Um, let me know if you tried any of this stuff because a lot of it is very new to me. So I'm very excited. I found a jackpot of things and I was super excited with the trip. Sometimes you find a ton, sometimes you find just a little. This time was a good trip to the Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, you guys, I swear. To the Dollar Tree. Super excited with everything that I found. Yeah, so if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe and join the family here. And until the next time that I see you guys, take care.